Hello, I'm Andrew Carter from Nebulous and today I'm going to give you an overview and demo of the Junus Pulse uh, MAG SL VPN appliance with regards to the host checking, the options in which you have and how it works. Uh, so the first thing to note is actually that the Juniper has a great host checking uh, pedigree. You can do host checking on Windows machines, Mac machines, Solaris and also mobiles as well, things like Android and iOS at both the realm and the role level. So the first thing to do is actually to um, create a policy. So if I go to authentication and endpoint security uh, I can then actually add in the endpoint security. Another thing to note is that before you actually uh, can upload or download any signatures you need to ensure that you've got a valid support license. Uh, what you do is you add your valid support license in here and you put your username and password and then it will download all the latest signatures from the Juniper website and again with the patch remediation the same thing is needed, oh, sorry not the patch remediation, the patch management info the same thing is needed. Uh, this will download the patch management information and then that will update your devices if you choose to do so. Uh, once you're in this page you can actually also then add a policy. So if I create a new policy and we'll call it demo. Um, so what I need to do actually here is uh, download and allow users to uh, hit this policy. So if I click continue I can then go through the type of policy I want to add. So as you can see I've got a variety of different options. I've got um, Windows, Mac, Linux, Solaris and Mobile. So here's just a few on the, Linux, on the Windows devices. Um, whether it's got valid antivirus, firewall, malware, anti-spyware and also I can th set things up like custom ports, custom processes and maybe custom files so a user has to have that file to be able to access the resources on the Juniper. Uh, same for mobile, you've also got the option for Android and iOS. Uh, within the iOS there's actually some interesting features where you can change or you can allow only certain OS devices so for example if you haven't uploaded or upgraded to iOS 7 within your company you can only allow iOS 6 devices to uh, actually allow connection or things like the jailbreaking detection so if a device is jailbroken then they won't be allowed to access any internal resources. I'm actually doing this webcast on a Mac so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate a Mac feature uh, so what I will do is I'll go to Mac and then I'll select a rule type so I'm going to add in a antivirus to make sure that for me to connect I need to have an antivirus installed and it needs to be up to date so I'll add that in there and then what I will do is I'll require specific vendors so if I put SEP in here and require any supported product from a specific vendor add in there so what I'm actually using is semantic SEP as my endpoint protection so what I do is I click semantic and add that in there as a selected vendor and then what I want to do is I want to allow a specific product as well so I'm using like I said endpoint protection so I will then add that in as my endpoint. Uh, in addition to that what I can do is I can say I need to have a successful scan within the last 14, 30, 50 days and I can also check for the various different files to make sure that they're not older than say uh, 10 updates we'll put in there or if I want I can make sure they're not older by a certain amount of days. So once I've actually added this policy uh, I just save the changes in here. Uh, so I see what I've got there is I've got my SEP policy and what I need to do now is I need to actually add that to a role or a realm. So what I can do here is I can then go into my user realms if I wanted to and before a user can even access the box they'd have to have this added in. So for example if I was to go to user and then if I was to go to authentication policy and then host checking. I can add the host check in here under demo. What I actually want to do is I want to allow a role based host check so I'll go to user roles and I'll go to a user in here and what I'll do is I'll look at the uh, restrictions under users and I'll then add in a host checking restriction. So what this means is that the user has to have a SEP uh, version 11 installed in their machine before they can access any of the internal resources. So I call that demo. So what I do is um, I'll allow users whose workstations meet these requirements. So I'll take demo and I'll add that to selected policies and then I will save changes. Uh, what this now means is that means that my user role has now got a host checking option there. So if I click out, click out of there and then go to users and then go back into restrictions and host checking, as you can see this has been selected. So what this means now is that for me to log in, I need to have SEP installed. So I'll just demonstrate this quickly. So if I just go to log monitoring for starters and go to user access and just clear all the logs. Okay, so just to show you the logs. Right, I'm just going to open up Firefox now and log in. Uh, so it's actually demo. 
So what I'm going to do is just log in. Oh, let me just put that. And this should then, uh, yeah, that's right, it's opened up this host checker. So it's now checking my device. Downloading the host checker, this is the, uh, the first time I've been on there. And it's done the host checking and it's uh, allowed me to enter the Juniper SL VPN. So if I go to OWA for example, then it will pass me through to OWA and then I can log out. So if I go to the logs, it should show that I've actually logged in um, and the host check has been successful. So if I update the logs, yeah, it's now got me logged in here and it's saying here that the uh, demo is passed. So that's actually the host checking which has been enabled. So that's just a quick demonstration of how the host checker works on the Juniper. Like I said, there's actually a lot and a variety of different um, ways you can enable the host checker based on the application. Uh, but that's just a quick overview of how to, how to enable it and to protect your environment by creating a policy that means that the endpoint devices must be checked first. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, if you've got any further questions regarding the uh, Juniper, then you can email me at andrew.carter at nebulous.co.uk and I'll be happy to answer those for you.